And the last one is uh, Transformers number one. Yeah, I kind of touched on this in the price video that we did yesterday. And uh, one sold for $1,130. And uh, they've been, you know, in the last six months or so, they've been kind of going in the 1,400 range, I want to say. So I think 1,130 is like a price to aim for, for that first print in Transformers number one. And it is a great 9.8. Yeah, you get a huge first appearance. Um, there's 618 9.8s in a blue label, which for huge first appearance, that's not very much. And uh, yeah, like I said, when compared to G.I. Joe, there's less of these. Uh, G.I. Joe number one, there's less of the Transformers number one. It's a better 9.8, the Transformers number one. That's why it's, it's done better in pricing uh, over time than a G.I. Joe one. And a 10.6% is the 9.8 ratio. So just a solid ratio on this one, big first appearance. And uh, yeah, good price history too. I think, uh, yeah, you remember uh, pre-pandemic, I remember quite a few of these going in the kind of 550 range or so. So it's pretty much, you know, sitting on a double right now. And uh, yeah, I think that 1,130 price was a really good price. I'll be interested to kind of watch this one in the next bit. Like, was that a really good price? And maybe it bounces back up to that 1,400 level again. I think that's a possibility with uh, I think this one just being a great 9.8 for uh, Transformers fans, for sure. Uh, so absolutely uh, one to keep an eye on and, and, and uh, consider uh, Transformers number one in the first print in a 